Here with women's track and field head coach Karen Dennis. Karen, you guys open up the season tomorrow with the Buckeye Classic here at French Field House. Uh, admission is free, events start at four. Um, for the track and field fans out there in Columbus that want to come out and watch some indoor track and field, what can they expect tomorrow? Well, better weather for one, that they can travel in as well as um, endure um, a much uh, more temperate climate. So we're excited about the, uh, the meet coming up. It's been a long preseason, and it just feels like it's time to hear the gun go off and uh, find out where we're, where we're at in terms of our level of conditioning and our preparedness for the indoor season. One good thing that I'm really encouraged about is how well the women have prepared themselves over the break. It was a long break, um, but everybody came back um, Wednesday after we were able to um, the, the snowstorm and the um, Arctic freeze. They came back and they look like they really prepared themselves well over the break. So we're excited to get going. It's just been a long, seems like a long preseason and uh, we just want to know where we're at, what we need to fix, uh, who looks good and uh, who doesn't look good and find out what we need to do to prepare for an outstanding, uh, in the, re uh, the conclusion of the indoor season. And then can you kind of give us Give the Buckeye fans kind of an outlook for this indoor season and maybe some student athletes to keep an eye on who you think might uh, have big years for your program? Well, we've got some veterans that are that we really expect some good things from this year. Um, Aisha Cabin is going to, is gonna, of course, um, head our, our sprint group. And I can't really say head because we just got some, some women that seem to be very comparable. Aisha's running well. Uh, we've got Chesna, Chesna Sykes is back, and she's always um, a real formidable 60-meter runner. Um, Adenike Pedro scored for us last year's indoors, as well as Ashley Abraham. So that sprint core is going to be a strong one again. Um, I think our hurdlers are going to perform well in Alexis Franklin, who's Big Ten champion in the 400 meters outdoors, as well as Alexandria Johnson, who doubled for us last year in the 400 and the 55, uh, the 60 hurdles. So she kind of, um, you know, we kind of sacrificed um, some of her abilities in the 60 hurdles last year in order to get her to run, uh, to get points out of the 400. Then um, our distance kids are running better. Uh, we come off of um, Katie Borges had an outstanding cross country season. Um, our new coach Sarah Bergotti has done a good job in preparing them for the rigors of um, cross country as well as um, the expectation for indoor track and field. And then I think our jumpers are prepared to, to uh, perform well. So across the board I think uh, Abby, a uh, Abby Aja Winman looks better in terms of her practice uh, preparedness and um, Adenike Pedro will come back in as a, as a jumper as well. And then we've got some some newbies that will um, uh, fill in for us in the jump area. So the area that um, we haven't talked about is our throw area, and I really hope that our young uh, throwers have matured well enough to be able to assist us in the throw area. That's Alyssa Gray and um, Carly Pendleton. And then uh, uh, Emily Taylor has been looking well. So. It's a chance for us to find out where we're at. It's a chance for us to gauge um, our our preparedness for this at this point in the season, as well as to figure out what we need to do in order to get better for the remainder of the season. So it'll it'll give us it'll be a good round for us. All right. Thank you, Coach. Good luck thank tomorrow. You. Okay. Thank